That's right, we've got one going to Alabama and uh, we're gonna be spending a lot of time down there. Love to get some information about Tuscaloosa and all that great stuff. I've already been there a couple times, but uh, look at I'm even wearing the shirt. So if you're down there, you know stuff going on, reach out to me. Uh, got, got some questions, all that good stuff. So today we're gonna be doing our normal thing. We're gonna be catching some fish. They're gonna be deep, they're gonna be shallow, all that great stuff. We're in the summer heat and uh, the pattern has changed. There's no doubt about it. We are in the summer pattern. And uh, right now you can catch it pretty much anywhere. But I'll tell you, it's interesting. I even had a, well, I'll just say this, that there are parts of the lake that it might be more difficult to catch fish in than others. And your tactics, even parts of the lake might be different on your home lake. So summer wise, you know, I kind of break up my lake into three different parts. And uh, this morning I went to a, a part that was Fish just simply are not on structure, but I found them and they happen to be schooled up. Um, but tonight, we're in the evening now, we're gonna go ahead and start with some structure fishing. Just some fish that are gonna be laying low down near the, the edge. I mean, there might not even be structure there, but they'll be on the ground and that's where we're gonna start today. Maybe leave them a little bit more vertical fishing versus the casting. So stick with me, I appreciate it. Don't forget Alabama, if you know something, wanna share some information, let me know. Here we go. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Now we all know that the fishing gets more difficult in the summertime. It does. And it's easy to blame other things. I've, I've got people that blame guides. It's ridiculous. i got people that blame the technology, which is ridiculous. Uh, everything. People want to come up with excuses as to why they're not catching fish in the summer. It's just constant and you hear it every year and it doesn't change. I've been fishing my home lake for my home lake now for about eight years and I mean eight years fishing a lot and um, it plain and simple it gets hard. That's fishing. Summer, summer fishing is harder but you can catch a lot of fish. Guide trips are going fantastic. We're putting a good amount of fish in because A we have the technology and B we spend a lot of time on the water to learn what these fish are doing in those different parts of the lake. So I fish each part differently during the summer. I have to work a little bit harder, um, but I can assure you the fish population is incredible. And um, hopefully I can show that to you today here. We're gonna put it on active captain. Let's do that right now. There's our first fish. <laughs> now, I really thought these fish would be on the structure or on the ground 100%. He's a small guy. Um, but either way, a lot of fun. And usually, you get a mixed bag. It really does. Now, a lot of people are going to say that it's because the fish are lethargic. And I probably am in that camp right there that they don't move around as much. They're not as active. But um, I'll tell you what. Uh, like I said, I saw a lot of schooling fish this morning, and uh, maybe we'll see some this evening, but I don't know if we're going to fish that, that side of the lake this time. But it's knowledge with technology that allows you to figure it out. So I know that there are some people that are still hanging on to the older technology. Ain't nothing wrong with it, ain't. But at the same time, you're learning a lot less, even if you fished for years, in my opinion. I think that you pick up on what things are, what's going on very quickly with LiveScope, and 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 you use that to your advantage, obviously. So, equipment check, what we're using here is uh, the E-Frog, a blackhead, and optimal sniping braid, 10-footer Ozark rod, check it out. That's a, uh, that could be the ticket. I don't know if it is or not, but at the end of the day, I think you use the baits that are mo you're most comfortable with, confident in, big time in confidence, especially during the summertime, man. Um, 
we've tossed on these fish quite a bit and they're, they're not necessarily uh, the most active fish, but, so I think it's important that you're fishing with what you feel comfortable with, what you should, or definitely that you're confident in for sure. Didn't set the hook. Now again, these fish are gonna be biting really light. And you know, having a sensitive product like a braid, a sensitive rod like Ozark rods, that's gonna help you get more fish on the line. But at the same time, you still gotta set the hook pretty hard. And I didn't set it hard enough there because it's an extremely light bite right now. And uh, it can lead to some frustration, but we're, we give back to the fish guys. Since we don't keep them anyway, we're always giving back to them. So. We just tossed it right back in there. Oh yeah. And sometimes, I'm telling you right now, I don't even feel like they bite it, man. They just lay it in their, they lay it in their mouth. Right there. Right. I've been flipping around on baits. So this is the, this is, this is just a straight chartreuse. I've been trying different colors. And uh, we're still pretty early in the evening, so the bite's a little tough. <laughs> he touched it. He touched it and I got him. I mean, I try everything. Right there, I was jigging it, and I'll try everything. If they're just being really slow and lethargic, I'll, uh, I'll just change up what I'm doing, whatever I can get their attention. And I'm not a big proponent of, of jigging it. I like natural, natural presentation. Check that out. On the ground, deep on the ground, and there goes my bait. Sometimes I don't go through a whole cast. I'm just trying to get it in and out as quick as possible. The bait that is in the water column, and here they come. And there's the fish. That's great active captain right there. Another freaking oh, he got off. Hard to set the hook. You got to see. Just wanting to see if head, jig head makes any difference. This guy just driving around. And there it is coming in. Oh boy. And no, it did not, boy. They jumped on it. So check that out. Sensitivity of your braid is extremely important. I highly recommend sniping braid. Uh, try out the Optimize. I use the Optimal on my home leg. Um, I love it to death and it does a heck of a job. Fingers on the braid. There he is, barely touched it. Again, I know that I have a light hook set right there. I did not plant the hook big time. I just got fortunate and was able to keep him. He's just an eater though, but he's a good fish. He a good fish. So yeah, Alabama, want to learn about Tuscaloosa? Please reach out to me, PM me. Let me know what you know. Especially if you live there, if you have a history there, we'd love to, love to bounce some ideas off your head. So all down here not much structure at all literally pretty much on the ground and it just happens to be this this part of the lake is this type of uh oh are you kidding me that's where they sit you learn you learn through electronics aka live scope people are going to say it's cheating i get it i get it but i don't agree with it it, it is the, it is the new world order and uh, things were meant to change. And, and yes, I fished before live scope. I have those questions. You couldn't catch a fish if you didn't have, uh, I'm sorry, I fished way before live scope. I was guiding before live scope. And so were a lot of other guides. And I don't think it matters if it's everybody's prerogative. This guy came a long way. This guy came a long way. 
Oh, how are you doing? Mr. Crappie. All right. The bait I'm gonna really probably focus in on today is gonna be this black or this chartreuse pearl is, it, is what it's named. And let me just tell you, this bait has been hot. No matter where you're fishing, it's just got a really good natural look. And it's been fantastic as late, as of late. And I think it just comes down to its presentation. I don't know if it matters what head you put on it, but this uh, chartreuse pearl, threepoundfishing.com, check it out. I'll put an image up here on the screen of it. First cast, good fish too, man. Someone was saying there's no fish left. I'm like, you're crazy. That's a solid freaking fish right there, man. See more fish now than I ever have. All right, folks, well, that's gonna end it. I'll tell you, it's a great day on the water anytime, even during the summertime. School fish, fish on structure, fish above structure, they're still here. It ain't the population problem, folks. It's a summer summer pattern that is a uh, difficult thing sometimes to, to uh, figure out, you, but you have to spend time on the water. That's it, you gotta spend time on the water. To figure it out so i appreciate you guys for watching check out the guide service thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies